friends I hope you're all doing well so again happy new year I'm coming to you with my favorite products favorite most used products of 2021 um and this is going to be the face category it's quite a bit of products but I won't keep you long I promise so I'll try not to um most of these products I did get in 2021 but some of them are just so long-term favorites and still favorites that I use the most in 2021 and I need to talk about them again or just remind you that they still in the game baby but most of these things I are new to 2021 with a few here and there I believe um so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to literally go, I kind of laid everything out in order of how I would put it on my face because I think that makes the most sense. <laughs> that makes the most sense to me. I got my basket that I'm going to put things in as I'm done talking about them so I can put them away. Um, but I'm really excited to bring you this video 2021. We use a lot of products, we try a lot of products, we wore a lot of makeup. We also stayed home a lot, but whatever. Um, so let's get into it. So my top primers from 2021 are these two. They're, I don't know why all my stuff is oily. Um, <laughs> these are actually used together. So, um, this first primer is not new. It's been a favorite for years. It's my Rimmel Stay Matte, uh, uh, face primer. It's my Rimmel Stay Matte primer. Um, and I've been using it in conjunction with the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. I just got this primer in 2021 and look at it. You guys, I love this stuff. These two together leaves my face literally what it says. It's matte and it lasts all night. And it is beautiful. And that's that's all I gotta say about that. That's all Mary had a little lamb. Ain't that what the kids say? That's what the kids say. Whew, I should have drank us. I got my water here. I need to already already over already so let me get this open so we can be ready to go <laughs> okay i wanted to mention um these liquid highlight illuminators that i like to put on mixed with my foundation um and it's the melt sex foil liquid digital highlighters they actually just liquid highlights you can use them however you like however you use a regular highlight but i like to mix them with my foundation um these are wonderful they're in this beautiful glass uh pump bottle they are very opaque they are very very glowy very illuminating beautiful i'm wearing this peaches and cream one mixed in with my foundation that i'll talk about uh i'm wearing this one today these babies are wonderful they're at 39 dollars and i have to say they're they're pretty worth it and so just wonderful illuminators they have been pretty much the only illuminators i've been mixing with foundation when i want that type of look um since i've gotten them so absolutely wonderful all right then we have some foundation face products i tried a lot of them in 2021 um but let's get into the ones that stood out so i got two skin tints i tried a lot of skin tints it was the year the skin tint it really was um i don't know why i'm out of breath okay it was the year of the skin tint. I mean, everybody in that grandmother had a skin tint. But two that took the cake for me. Um, the first one being the Huda Beauty Glowish uh, Skin Tint. I'm going to be honest, the first time I tried this, I didn't dislike it, but it was a lot for me. If you, I have that video. I'll try to link anything I'm referencing down below. But I, <laughs> it was a lot for me. It was, a, it was, it was, when I say it was glowy, full coverage super glowy it was a lot but i've learned to you know powder and all that but this stuff is wonderful it's so comfortable on the skin if you want that glow it's there but it's it's huda so it's it's definitely full coverage and it's absolutely beautiful so one of the best um but this next one is even a little bit better uh this i fell in love with couldn't put this down for weeks and um it it's not as much coverage as the huda one and it's um it's not as glowy, but it's so beautiful and natural on the skin, and that is the Fenty uh, Skin Tint. This stuff is wonderful. I have a review on this as well. This is absolutely amazing. I'm giving it a medium coverage. You can build it up a bit, but this was perfect for those summer months when you wanted something, you want a little something, something, but not a heavy something, something. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely wonderful Fenty Skin Tint. Could not put that stuff down. All right, and now we have some full coverage foundations. Um the 
Hold on. This next one definitely didn't get in 2021. It's been a favorite for a very long time, but I wanted to talk about it because it's, it was still one of my most used foundations in 2021. And that is the LA Girl Pro Matte um, HD High Definition Foundation. This stuff is wonderful. I have two shades here because I thought it was going out of stock or I thought it was being discontinued. And so these two shades happened to be on clearance at Ulta one time and I was like, oh no, and I bought them and I mixed them and make my shade. But I actually have backups of my shade because it didn't go it didn't get discontinued, but I had bought these and was using these thinking this was my last hope. And but now I'm going to finish them up. So anyway, <laughs> um, this stuff is like $8. It is full coverage. It is matte. It is what you need it to be. I'm trying not to go too far, too long into this, especially since I've raved about this on my channel plenty of times. I don't want to keep repeating myself. But the LA Girl Pro Matte is still holding it down over here. This um, next foundation... Um, I had this for a while, but the shade was off, and, um, I wind, uh, I decluttered it, but I bought the, in my right shade, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. It's going to be a 24-hour foundation. Um, this is wonderful. This is absolutely beautiful. This, I'll be honest, there's not much difference between the LA Girl Pro Matte and the Too Faced, except price. So I, I, I can confidently say if you don't want to spend for this, get this. But this one you can't find everywhere. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. And then finally, this bad boy I got discovered in 2021. It has been all the hype in the it, back in the day, YouTube days. They reformulated it. This I'm wearing this now. It gives the, it's full coverage. It's matte, but it gives your face the softest look. I can't explain it. And that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation. Again, this was one I couldn't put down when I got it. I'm so happy I got this foundation. I get it. I get the hype. I get it. It almost like erases. You're like airbrushed. It erases imperfect. Get it. Just buy it. Absolutely amazing foundation um all of these are because uh, minus the skin tints i am a full coverage maximum coverage girl and these the ones i just mentioned are like sweat proof you know they last all day i'm not touching up i don't blot i ain't got time for that so beautiful beautiful i'm gonna tell y'all a secret why i'm thirsty because i was letting my camera charge and i put my music on and i, I was twerking a little bit so now i'm tired I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. All right, let's keep moving. Once we have our foundation, we need concealer on. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different concealers. Um, I will get into the ones, the two that I did not get in 2021, but they are still holding it down, ride or die. And the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is one of the lighter shades I have. This is golden. Um, I have a, quite a few shades of this concealer. This conceal all these concealers are full full coverage. Eh, except one. Except one. Okay. Most of them are full coverage. This is a full coverage concealer. This is absolutely beautiful. It pairs well with the foundation. Um, but this gives me full coverage. It gives me, it doesn't crease. Um it works well with any powder I put underneath of it. Uh blends out like a dream and Can't say, can't say anything bad about it. Now, I'm, I just, I, I don't know why I, this is speaking to me to say. Uh, because I love trying new makeup and reviewing new makeup, um, I have a lot. And I have a lot of favorites. But I will recommend that if you're just an average makeup user, find something you like and stick with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not continuing to try these things because there's something wrong with it. Why do you have all the... No, just like keep trying them. Some things I like and I find like three and four favorites that do the exact same thing. <laughs> so, live your life. All right, the next one, if you are on in the makeup community at any point in time, anybody you watch, people that people that all um wear almost exclusively high end like this concealer, okay? People who don't wear much makeup like this concealer. 
and it's been holding me down for years. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer is a go-to. I've used this concealer as foundation. I've used this concealer um, over pretty much anything. This is a really good concealer. I use this concealer a lot in the summer um, because it gives that full coverage. Um, it doesn't like sweat off or whatever, but it definitely adds. So like the skin tints. Well, the Huda one's full coverage, but the Fenty's not fully full coverage. And any of the other tints and tinted moisturizers that aren't full coverage that I was using to throw something on the face um, in the summertime, this would up the coverage a bit. Like, this would up it enough to be acceptable for me. Because a lot of tinted moisturizers, I have a lot of full coverage ones, but the ones that, they do even out, but they're not full coverage. They, they you know, even out, make you look really nice, uh, but you just want a little bit more, especially with the under eye, especially with these will complement those where it doesn't look like, oh, this part of your face is super covered and then there's nothing here. It blends with whatever I put it over top of and still, but still gives that extra help. So Maybelline Adrian Wine Drugstore price is like six bucks. I have so many shades of this, so many backups. When Maybelline goes on sale, buy it. Get it. Okay. All right, the rest of the concealers are considered high-end concealers. Um, the first one I'll tell you about is the only like medium to full coverage concealer. Uh, and that is the Rare Beauty, uh, what's the full name of this? The Rare Beauty Concealer. Um, these I tried this year with pretty much Rare Beauty. Everything I tried from Rare Beauty I loved. Um, and this concealer, again, is that medium to full. Medium to full. Like it has, it's the lightest coverage of the ones I'm going to tell, tell you. But that doesn't mean it ain't all that. It, it's... Excuse me. It's thicker in consistency than Maybelline Age Rewind, but it does the same thing that it does where it'll help a lesser coverage thing and still look kind of natural and barely there almost <laughs> kind of thing. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this comes in a lot of shades. It's about 20 bucks, 19, 20 dollars. Um, and I really think it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I was wearing this. The combo I was wearing was the Fenty Skin Tint and these concealers or the Maybelline Age Rewind for the summer. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Uh, I really love the packaging. I just, I love everything about them. Uh, I, again, I'm a full coverage, maximum coverage girl, but sometimes, you know, some, uh, I grew up a little bit this year where it's like, okay, my skin got better, so, uh, still love maximum full coverage, but on those days where I was like, I'm gonna do a little less. <laughs> grab, grab one of these grab one of these all right these next three fell in love with this year um i love them equally they do the same things maximum coverage easy to blend uh this first one will probably be the thinnest i'm wearing this one today the thinnest in consistency but it's still thicker than most liquids but no i'm lying this is in the middle so let me do the thinnest in, in consistency first everything is oily i think something spilled in my basket and i'm everything's covered in like oil and it's really bothering me so this the Makeup Forever um, Matte Velvet Concealers. These, I don't even think came out in 2021, but I got them in 2021. I really wanted to try them forever. Um, and I just was not finding the right shade. Like, I was swatching them in Sephora, and I just, I had a hard time finding the right shade. Maybe it was Sephora's lighting was not forgiving. Um, but I went to the makeup show in New York back in November. I just got these not too long ago. Um, and they, first of all, they were 40% off. And I picked up two shades, and I really love these. I, I love Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever makes some great coverage products, some great face products, and these are no, no exception. That matte velvet, um, this reminds me, it has the, uh, the feel of the, actually, the Tarte foundation I was just mentioning, the Amazonian Clay Foundation, that smooth baby skin filter effect. Okay? Um... The next one, a little bit thicker to me, is the Lancome Tint Doll. I'm wearing this today. Um, this is the Ultra Wear Concealers. Now, I don't own, I didn't own the Lancome Ultra Wear Foundation up until like a week ago. And I wore it in my New Year's Eve Get Ready With Me video. So I don't really know, I didn't wear these two together yet with the foundation. I've worn the Matte Velvet Foundation with the Matte Velvet Concealer. Works wonderful. Uh, but this... These are wonderful full coverage concealers. They're about $30 now. Like I said, with concealer, um, if you're not crazy like me, 
find one you like and stick with it, whether it's drugstore or high end. I think concealer is definitely something if you feel like you need to invest in it, absolutely, because you can wear a concealer as foundation. If you have those skin imperfections that you want to cover up to make you feel more confident, invest in good concealer. So, okay. Uh, but absolutely full full coverage, easy to blend. Looks this is I'm wearing both shades today, kind of mix them together. Um, and it just gives that beautiful highlight. There's a wonderful shade range, so I definitely recommend these, okay? And then the last, the last concealer <laughs> uh, is probably the thickest in consistency, but these blew me away. And these are definitely ones that um, I'll probably grab a couple other lighter shades of. They were, they were on sale, I don't remember. But I love how big the packaging is. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. She just came out with these this year, and you guys, absolutely wonderful, thick. Not thick and uncomfortable, but just like the, the texture. Um full maximum coverage <laughs> absolutely Oop, absolutely insane i really enjoy these concealers do what they they do what they need to do um i try them all so you don't have to these are wonderful i only have two shades of these um all the concealers i mentioned the rare beauty i have three shades of um but the other ones the the makeup forever the lancome and this one I have two shades of and then the Maybelline age one I have a few shades of uh, but I definitely want to grab a couple other shades of this why do I grab other shades of concealer because sometimes I want a super dramatic Instagram highlight um and sometimes I want like this like a natural highlight so when I'm trying a new concealer I always grab a super dramatic Instagram highlight shade and a skin tone shade um that will just to see how it covers naturally and if I can use it as foundation sometimes. Those are the two I grab. I always grab two of any concealer I'm trying. Um, and that's how I do it. And then if I like it, I'll grab like a natural highlight shade. And then maybe if I, if I think it'd be good to do some eye crease, cut and crease. I'm crazy. I'm very crazy. Never claim to not be crazy. All right, and then we put that concealer on. We gotta set that under eye. And the powder that I reach for the most is the Laura Mercier, specifically in the Translucent Honey. I don't know why I don't have a full size of this yet, but it will be bought very soon, because this one's running low. Dang, it's running really low. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, the Translucent Powder is Translucent Honey. Absolutely beautiful. She has another, like a brightening powder that's a lighter yellow. This is definitely a peachier, orangier yellow that I think it's perfect to set pretty much any concealer I put on my under eye. And so, Laura Mercier, there you go. That's the only under eye setting powder we got in this list. All right, and then we need to set the face. So if I want a little bit, so if I want a natural, I won't say glow, but a natural skin look where skin is not naturally matte. Skin is not super, super glowy and dewy naturally unless you put those products there. Skin is that normal, has a little sheen, normal, healthy skin rather. Okay, I go into the Laura Mercier Sheer Perfecting Powder. This is like one of those soft touch airbrush, not really airbrush, but like soft focus, a bit sheen, a satin <laughs> finish to it. And I'm in the shade six. Um, I love this powder for the most of the time I use this powder. Like I said, if I want that not matte, but just a natural finish, um, I'll use this or if I'm using something that which is rare that has a little bit of glow and I don't want to get rid of that glow with a matte powder I'll use this as well um and so I really just like this look I do since I've been able to combat a lot of my oil and I've been getting as I get older my skin is not as oily and even though I still like a matte look I'm able to use this powder more um and still get a finish that I can accept okay but most of the time we like a matte powder um so if i want a soft focus matte look matte powder these are not new to 2021 they have been in my life pushing i said i don't know it's five years it's a long time um and that is the black you can just see how they look the black radiant soft focus finishing powders i actually need to buy um backups of this it's becoming harder and harder to find in store um and so i need to order some i think i have a backup of each shade this is the shade i'll set my under eye with um i haven't been using this one as much because i have the laura mercier but i still use it um as you can see 
And then this is the milk chocolate finish. And there's one in between these two that I set my face with as well. Um, I love this powder. I don't even need to say much. If you watch my channel for any amount of years, it's still number one. It, I had to put it in there. All right. And then if you want the mattest of the matte lasting until your next birthday, this is the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. Now I'm going to show you. See this little bit of powder in here? Let's get in here. You can't even... Look at that little, you can see it. Look at that little bit of powder in there. I am holding on. This little bit of powder has lasted me so long. I have three backups of this powder because it went on sale for a while. It's a four. It went on sale for like 50% off. So I bought backups of it. Um, but you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. This is, you don't need a lot of this powder at all. All, and it will keep you matte. Now, I will say you need to be careful if you need to add a little bit more dimension in your face um, because it will make you look flat as well. But if you need the summertime, the matte, you need... Get it. Get it. Okay? Get it. Those are powders. Okay, now we need to contour. We need to contour. I have a lot of contour products. I love a good contour palette. Um, but this year I did try some cream contour products. And my top, I'll do, I'll do that first. My top is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. I did not get the original Tan Tour. Um, I got, this is the shade Tan. I did not get the original Tan Tour in 2021. I really love this product. I love this Tan Tour Cream Contour because... I put a lot of powders on my face. And one thing that I would stray away from with cream products is sometimes you need to put them on before powder. Like when people do all their cream contour and highlight and then blend everything out and then set. That's just not my vibe. Um, this stuff here, y'all, it, you can it blends like a powder. It works just like a powder. It's deep enough. It's beautiful. It it makes you look so sculpted. Um, it it's it's just it's easy to blend like you can you can map it out on your face over your powder once you set your face with powder that's the only time I use this is over powder like a powder I use a powder type of contour brush um and it it just it blends and it's fine and it sets and it doesn't feel like a cream on your face it's not greasy it's not uh, any of those things that might make a cream unattractive to a lot of people especially us with oily skin Okay, my skin's not as oily, but it's still oily. Okay, and then I picked up this year the shade medium because that shade tan is not the, that's not the deepest shade either. It's the next to the deepest shade. But I was like, I wonder if medium can work for me. Medium is a little bit warmer. I mean, a hair, a whisper warmer. Um, but this is definitely for a natural, much a natural contour because that deep, deep shade is given the Kim K sculpt that I love. But again, when we want a little bit less is more. I picked that medium as well. I picked them. Can you tell I like having multiple shades of things? <laughs> Can y'all tell? Yeah. Can you tell? But if you don't want to spend the $30 for that tan tour, I tried the e.l.f. cream bronzers um, this year and they impressed me. Now, they're a little bit thicker than the Huda tan tour than the Huda Tan Tour. Um, so these may take a whisper of more effort to blend out, but these are only $6. Um, so I tried this. I tried the Anastasia Cream Contour, and that one was okay. It didn't do anything different from the Tan Tour or this one where I feel like you need all of them. No, it was fine, but this... Throwing it in here because if I wanted to do a cream contour situation um, or just reach for something different, I was reaching for this. This putty, putty bronzer. Um, I have two shades of this as well. A deeper one and then a not as deep one because that's what I do. You sense a, a trend here? Um, let's see. Deep one, not as deep. Uh, so, there you go. And then I do have one powder contour and it's from Huda again she killed it this year this is the glowish um I'm wearing this today is my contour the glowish soft radiance bronzing powder and this is the shade rich I think this one is the deepest shade um that beautiful swirled pattern in there and this is absolutely beautiful I really really like this one this is the most the powder contour I used the most this year um so wonderful wonderful Alright, then we put on blush. Um, I gotta mention it. It's been holding this down. It's been holding me down. Y'all know if you watch my channel, it's been holding me down um, for since I've gotten it. I have not hit pan on this blush, and I've had this blush for years, and I wear it every time I can't 
find another blush. Like, it's not, like, if I'm, you know, not purposely using something new, um, or not purposely, like, I shopped my stash and I want to wear something different, if I'm just like, oh, I need a blush, I'm grabbing this blush, and I, <laughs> it's Max Raisin. This beautiful matte is the perfect blush for my skin tone, and it goes with everything. I've been wearing this blush for years. It's still number one. It's number one. It's number one. Okay. I did fall in love with a new blush palette this year, and it was the NARS Basic Instincts 2 blush palette. And um, we have two mattes and two, like, satiny plants. Um, blushes in here. This one's more of a highlight. And um, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I had to pick it up when I saw it. There's a lighter version of this palette. Like I said, the, the one would be the lighter version, but absolutely beautiful. M NARS face products are also wonderful. Their powders are absolutely so, so soft and blendable. And um, I just thought this one yeah, it really spoke to me. And it, it, I really fell in love with it this year. So between those two, and, like, mine is any new things I was using, but that's <laughs> what I grabbed. Okay, um, highlight. So, this is an OG, triple OG, again, this was the same situation. If I didn't have anything I purposely knew in my mind I wanted to wear and I just couldn't think of a, a highlight, it was Max Gold Deposit. Um, this, I think, uh, there was a tweet on Instagram somebody put, and it was like, how old are you? And it was like, it was like a matte gold deposit old or like and then it was like if how raise your hand if matte gold deposit was how you fell in love with highlights something like that and this is a mineralized skin skin finish um beautiful this is my only one i've had i've made a significant dent in the dome but gold deposit ain't going nowhere she ain't going nowhere she ain't going nowhere she will never go anywhere i should probably get a backup of that Cause you know you fall in love with stuff and then it goes away. All right, um, Rare Beauty. These liquid highlighters, these liquid illuminators. I want the whole collection. I think I have four. Um, and there's like seven. I need them all. I need them all. So unlike the melt, the melt illuminators. The melt luminous I'll mix with my foundation. That's for my whole face. These are definitely, I use them as liquid highlighters. Um, and so I'll dab them. These are the first liquid highlighters that I don't necessarily. So how I use my liquid and cream highlighters is I like to lay them down, blend them out, and then top them over with a powder because I'm extra. These, I still do that, but I don't feel like I need to because they give just as much oomph as a powder. Okay? Uh, but it's beautiful metallic shades. You get these big, it's $22, which is not too bad. You get these big bottles. Um, how much you get in here? Because it could just be a facade. It could be, it could be the glass is thick. Oh, you get 15 milliliters. You get a half an ounce. It's a half size of a foundation. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. So, love them. Love them gonna get I need to make a I don't really make a wish list but I need to make a list of products that I need to complete the collection of just you know that kind of thing so we will get there we will get there okay um before we get into settings I want to talk about some like multi palettes type of things um they this the first two are the Natasha Denona um face palette. So I have the Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette and the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. I don't think either one of these came out in 2021, but they came to me in 2021. Um, I was eyeing this palette for a very long time. Um, and I was like, 55 bucks for it. So what this is, two blushes, two highlights, or you get three blushes, whatever, whatever. You get two cream products at the top and you get um, two powder products at the bottom. This palette is beautiful. I was on a rose gold kick for a while. I have a video where I use this. I'm going to try to link everything down below. Forgive me if I skip something. But um, I had a rose gold kick. And I use this. Absolutely love it. I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing this deeper blush today. I ain't wearing raisin today. And I'm wearing this highlighter today. Um, so absolutely beautiful the quality is wonderful the cream i used a fluffier brush to blend it out not like a dual fiber or whatever um worked just fine i used this fluffy elf brush to blend out that uh cream blush and it worked wonderful um absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning um and then i got the bronze one which is the same concept i don't use 
this deeper shade as much. This deeper shade has a little bit of glow to it. I just don't know how I want to work it in, but I've used the other three. Definitely, um, those are two. Like, I just, I just need to, to, to get in, get into it. But the, <laughs> the bottom two, absolutely beautiful highlights. Um, I think maybe that top one, maybe I will layer that with, one of the powder highlights. I'm not quite sure, but the this this one is in this video due to the bottom two beautiful bronzy highlight shades. So beautiful. And then the other um are the other type of palette is the Makeup Revolution and Patricia Bright collab. She did the damn thing when she came out. When she came out with four different uh uh like skin ranges: light, medium. Fair, light, medium, whatever. I got the two deepest ones. These are highlight, blush, and contour. These are wonderful. Makeup Revolution. Uh, these are wonderful. They, she did something. So I have the next to the deepest, and then I have the deepest one. This is the first kind of like all-in-one palette where I'm comfortable with all three of the shades. Um... The blush is beautiful. Both blushes are matte. The contour is matte. And then the highlight, obviously, is a highlight. And I travel with these. I Every time I travel, I throw one of these in my bag. Even if I'm throwing other highlighters, other blushes, I throw one of these in, I throw one of these, um, in my bag. Oh, my battery's going to die. So let me hurry up. My battery's going to die. Um, so they are absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, last thing. Setting sprays. My battery's going to die. Fix Plus. It's been holding it down for years. Best setting spray ever. Um, and then we have the two Catrice I fell in love with. This is the Oil Control Matte Fixing Spray. Absolutely wonderful. And then the Shake Fix Glow Spray. I'm wearing this one today. These are really good for the summertime. Really lightweight. They're not super, super hardcore setting like the other two I'm going to tell you. But absolutely made my skin kind of put everything together. And then the finishing fixing sprays, we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. Be careful with this because if you spray too much, you will look like um, a corpse. You will look like a mortician did your makeup. And then you got to go back in with the setting spray to reset the, the Fix Plus to reset it and you're fine. Light mist of this and you matte all night. Okay? And then... Even better, which but it's more expensive, and it, it, it just the cryolin. This makes it transfer proof. This makes your makeup pretty much transfer proof. It's not okay. My battery just died while I was talking. Had to plug it in, but my charger's a little ghetto, so let me hurry up. Cryolin will make your face transfer proof. The makeup's not going anywhere. I've been wearing this with every mask because of you know you don't want to get messy under the mask, and it is absolutely wonderful. So I recommend that as well. All right, so let me let this charge. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.